Welcome back to Bourbon Babes and BS. I am Kevin Rhodes of Kevin Rhodes Entertainment, and here with me is Amber, Angie, and Michelle. Tonight we are discussing Will It Bourbon. Yes. Will it, will it taste good? Will it? Will it? <laughs> Let's find out. is everyone's week going I hope good so far um, I'll go ahead and talk about what I've done this week um, work <laughs> um, unfortunately that's how it is. yes mm -hmm. and so I'm all in the holiday spirit so I did um, get out my Christmas trees um, all of my knickknacks you know I still have a lot to put out Free Thanksgiving well when Free you Thanksgiving. have when you have four Christmas trees I know <laughs> I know <laughs> so oh yes my God, they're everywhere yes yeah, so everywhere. a little little story about this so I keep all of my um, my trees and all of my stuff out in our building well as my son was pulling it out I'm not kidding there was like 70 oh, yeah. 80 of oh those on the tote So when I opened them up, I kept them outside, and they were even in the sealed containers. What is the deal? Well, they've been all I, over our house, yeah. too. Well, and they got in the house, and I've been taking the... I don't kill them in the house because they do stink. Right. Um, right. But I've been taking them outside. But, uh, yeah, so I've been busy putting, you know, Christmas lights and it my knickknacks and watching my Hallmark movies, and that's about it. What did you do? Speaking of stink bugs... <laughs> Not much, just work, like you said. And Mark and I went golfing today. I took off. That was nice. Yes. I didn't play very well, but the weather was nice. It was pretty. <laughs> I mean, I had a few good holes, and I birdied one or two. So that was nice. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. No, sorry, didn't birdie par. Part. Just par. Just par. Well, I definitely not did not. as cool. No. Definitely did not birdie. <laughs> I, any probably, holes. I probably wouldn't have parred anything. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely didn't do that. But uh, no, I speaking of sink bugs, I went to get buy three wood out of the bag and pull it out and I'm like oh, did I bring that all the way from home <laughs> like it was in my golf bag Probably. yeah they're, they're, everywhere. Like, they're everywhere they're everywhere that's horrible. horrible yeah horrible. and then I got took a shower when we got home put some clothes on yeah go to put my pants on stink bug I was oh like God. seriously in my closet well I'm upstairs. I'm hoping this weather cooler weather oh. coming up will Make them go away. I thought the cold <laughs> weather was coming up, and then it was like, oh, it's cold. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's cold. It was oh, like yeah. 70, oh, yeah, we live in Kentucky. I it remember. was 76 today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We were in Jasper, oh, Indiana. Right. But still, you know. But still, they're back. They're back. Yeah, it, it felt good. so nice. Oh, I, I was inside all day, but when I, when I did step out for my lunch, it felt great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm trying to sit there. I'm trying to think, what did I do? Other than almost got blown away. Saturday. Saturday was oh, freaking ridiculous. The wind. But um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I did get a new cup because, you know, it is veteran for this week. So. But, um, but, yeah, no. I... I really don't know what I did. I'm you, we, you come over here. <laughs> I did. I came over here and I watched Amber and then I also sent her TikToks of. You watched her? You watched her? Like, like watched her. Would you watch me do that? That right? Watched you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Michelle, I need to go out. Can you come watch Amber? <laughs> well, she stroked all those stink bugs off of her ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but no, I sat there and I, um, I was watching her and I was laughing. I was sending her TikToks where it was 11.59 on October 31st. Halloween lights and then 12 o'clock midnight and it said Christmas music so I'm like <laughs> sitting it laughing at her and then um, I started watching uh, it's a nerdy but I love it House of the Dragon oh my god good uh, I'm, I'm on the 8th season or the 8th series or that's why that's why I haven't heard from you you know oh, <laughs> it's so good I'm like oh it's good. It's so good. good but it is like I'm like okay this is kind of Porn. Isn't it? Wasn't it a play? <laughs> it is on, on HBO. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a yes. prequel, prequel or a, yeah. a prequel of yeah. the Games of Thrones. Yeah, I right. like the Lord of the Rings. That's right. <laughs> that is good. I like it better. The Lord of the Rings. I'm going to be making some people mad from Game of Thrones. I mean, I did like Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones, but I did like Game of Thrones. But after Jason Momoa died, I was like. Couldn't get into it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, just... But House of the Dragon, I'm like, oh, I'm <laughs> love it. So. Thank you. So, yeah, I like it better. I don't know. Is it's it dirty. dirty? Do they have dirty or men in it? Oh, my God. It's freaking... That's she right. said it was like, like porn. Dirty men. <laughs> I, like, I like dirty men, yeah. 
Johnny Depp. Hello. <laughs> Johnny, if you're listening. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Lick, you wanna, uh, lick you clean on your face, baby. Parts of the cream. That's twice you've said that on the show, so here, hopefully you'll hear it. about him you, twice. You have. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Time. We don't have to go see your grandma. <laughs> 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 Thanks, <laughs> Michelle. Hello. Get <laughs> yeah, what you do. I mean, pretty much the same. Worked. Uh, edited, of course. We actually <laughs> had to go into the office a couple of days this week. So, mm-hmm. uh, got to see some people that I would, don't get to see all the time. So, right. that was fun. Got to wear a suit. I don't usually wear a suit what? when I'm sitting at home in the office. So, I was like, you know what? Did when you I go really? to work, I'm going to wear a freaking suit. Yeah, did you really? For a long time. Suit. I do. Okay. Okay. Well, I put one on, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, I I know normally you see me, I'm in a t shirt and hat and things, but you know, I clean up sometimes. Oh, I'm sure you do, do. and I bet you look lovely. (laughs) (laughs) But seriously, like, Really, a lot of people don't own suits anymore. You know, it's you not. It wasn't okay. It, it's a. I mean, it's not like a, I didn't go buy a suit. Like mm-hmm. I have a suit jacket. I have dress pants. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't a suit. Yeah, it's not like tailored or anything. It like wasn't that. a t-shirt. Cool. With the <laughs> no, no, it was a legitimate tie, and not a clip-on either. I know how to tie a tie, ladies. Oh, I'm not married, so back off. Yeah, <laughs> is it a Reagan knot? A Reagan knot? Yeah, no, it's a Reagan O. I like the scent better. No, uh, I don't know. I think it's. What, Wait, I think it's a. Tie. I believe it's a Windsor. Ooh, yeah. I like yeah. it. I was going to say there's all kinds of not chicken. Right. <laughs> Those well, are a I, different kind of. Yes, notes. they are, and I think that's a whole different story. <laughs> so you stay pretty busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Come on. What can I say? It's been a while. A lot of Okay, so tonight we are going to be talking about Willet, a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Of oh, course, so um, here we go. Yes. So yeah, Amber, I love the Amber bottle. Amber loves to literally. She's I love it. It's Amber. She molests the bottle. No, I do not. But I can tell you, I have not tasted this. Um, Sean has. He actually. No well, you can tell. Yeah, no like yeah. you can tell by the bottle that um, he's liked it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is some left. Yeah. There is some left. Um, but what I found interesting about this bottle, when I was reading up on Willet, I saw that they're copper pots mm-hmm. where they make their bourbon. And I thought, well, that copper pot looks just like that bottle. And then when I was reading about it, that's... Mm-hmm. That's why where, they made it that way? I'm assuming that was their design behind that is because that's of the cool. copper pot. Um, but it's... Pretty cool. Chester so copper pot. For Chester, those of you know. yeah, yeah. It's a very pretty steel, like the pot steel. Yeah, it's so pretty. But the bottle is one of my it favorite. So it's pretty. beautiful. It reminds me of I Dream the Jam. Oh, oh, right. Marvelous idea. What's a marvelous idea? Wait. Somebody yes. said I was about to. I want to rub it. Well, I, listen, I have, I know, and I do that every time because I save like three or four marks because I'm like. One of these years, somebody for Halloween <laughs> yeah, be, was going to need, and they're going to yeah. go around saying "major," cool. right. and they can. I'll make them a Willits bottle genie bottle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, cool. I did mm-hmm. ask Sean, um, you know, when he, I always ask him when he drinks it. Now Michelle laughs. Um, I said, "So, what did you taste, mm-hmm. or what did you smell?" And he was like, "Bourbon." And he yeah. was like, <laughs> "He's like, I don't know." And I said, "A little bit of lemon." A little bit of citrus, and he was like, "No." I, he said, "All I can tell you is that it's smooth tasting." I want to try that citrusy. Um, scent. That sounds interesting. But it's. He said it's like a. He said it sounds like a dessert uh, bourbon mm-hmm. because it's got the lemon, it's got citrus, mm-hmm. it's got spices, caramel, vanilla. So to me, it sounds like a dessert in a bottle. Y'all making me, y'all making me hungry. I know the, <laughs> bottle, the color is beautiful. Yeah, the color is like, so and pretty. it does make you. It's perfect for mm-hmm. it to be in a pot still a copper yes pot still. because the bottle looks like the pot yeah and then the color is so pretty it almost looks kind of copper I yeah know, <laughs> it's, yes, it's a beautiful it, color it would almost cool. look like there's nothing in it just because it just blends i think with it and like, i have yes. tried it it's gorgeous i have tried it when i bought it for mark because the first time i ever bought it i saw the bottle and i was like I don't believe he's ever had this bottle, right. so I bought it, and then I did try some, and it was smooth for, for yeah, me. It I really was, is. Yeah, I was going to ask, what did you think didn't have of that it? burn? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't. I didn't have that burn to it. Mm-hmm. I had. I thought it was a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. Of course, I've, I've now <laughs> realized. <laughs> 
ice. Add ice or water to it because it kind of smooths it out a little bit more. It does. Yeah, because anytime I try to do it neat, I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you might have a little ice smoke in a cigar it. With it. Yeah. That's what you're saying. I'm having flashbacks of when my mama used to give me whiskey, honey, yeah. a splash of lemon and some peppermint, and I'm just like, wow. I mean, it just sets me on fire, but it... The burn, when I do it like that, I'm like, oh, no, it's me. You would think the peppermint, you know. Oh, you would think. Way to go. <laughs> you Sorry, new phone. Switching to vibrate. Continue. It's really great. You would think that the it peppermint would in it would make it. <laughs> what are you doing? Would make it hotter. Because you know how peppermint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. even though it's refreshing, yeah. you, get, you get that. Yeah, for a hot toddy. Yeah, yeah with Mamal Mamal Mamaw Versi. Right. Was, oh. That 800 really wants to get home. You can do something about <laughs> that. Vibrates louder than the ringer. Gosh. You know what? Turning it off. I, I just turn the ringer off. Get out. Oh, it's off. It's off. Out. I turned it off. She was getting cold. I was still vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel that vibration over there? No, I did not hear her hold one second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did stick it there. Call me again. I did just stick it there just in case Please one of my kids did. <laughs> By the way, my phone never is blah, blah, blah. Hey, it might call. open yeah, in right. just a second. It might go boop again. Yeah. It's true. Because I think... Vo voice well, if I'm sitting here talking and I go... If I'm sitting here talking and I go... <laughs> then you know what happened. They'll be like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have my, since the 1 800 member is calling me, I'll be doing my 1 900 voice. So <laughs> that's funny. Um, one thing that I will say that I did read on Will It, and then I'll let someone else talk about it. But in, let me get my spec song because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> she can read, she just can't see. Yeah, I can't see yeah. it. Um, in 1936, Thompson Willett founded Willett Distillery. Which I did read, there is a long family line mm -hmm. of Willets mm -hmm. from the 1700s, mm -hmm. um, what I read about it. So I saw some pretty neat images, you know, of their facility and how they do stuff. I took them. No, I took the pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you did. Really so pretty pictures. You sure did. I do remember that. So going back to the 1700s, so I guess that was like, but this it is was, when he formed it as a company, but before then I guess they were just... Just the boys just distilling. Just 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 and it went from, I mean, it's all family. That's cool. It's all family, whether it was uncles, aunt, you know, aunts, and yeah. um, people that have married. And married. Yeah, yeah, they married into the, the family. The first part was um, the first generation they talked about, the original Willet that they talked about, E.D. or E.B., I believe. Right. Um, he actually was a, I'm going to, this word is probably not going to come out right. <laughs> he did Pewter. Pewter. He was a pewter. Yep. A pewter. Yeah. Did y'all know that's a word? Pewter. Yeah, I did, but I don't really know. In, in London. Yeah. And then he came to Kentucky, and they actually moved to Nelson County, Kentucky, when Kentucky became a an official state. state. Yep. So cool. In like 1792. Oh, yeah. In so, Town, when I was so, there just a couple of weeks ago. It's beautiful. About, about a month ago, yes. The I mean, got a picture of the original hog farm barn. No, no, no. The hall, the hall farm Say that three times real fast. Hog farm bar. Hog farm bar. But it was, uh, <laughs> it, was pretty good. it was the original Willet Hog Barn, is what it was. Hog so, barn. Hog barn. But the entrance of it is so pretty, and it's mm -hmm. it's in stone, so a lot of the rain has washed a lot of it away. But right. yeah, the distillery is really nice, and I love driving all up that, to that little gravel. Yeah, I, think it's a I gotta go with y'all sometimes. Yeah, it's really. Bard's Town is a really beautiful place in itself. But I feel like it's, um, I, I believe it is on the craft side, believe it oh, or yeah. not. It's mm -hmm. just one of the biggest producers. Deucer, yeah. Craft. craft distillers. But they've made so many different kinds that I wasn't even aware of. Because, you know, right. I've heard of Old Bard's Town bourbon, whiskey bourbon. Have you heard of Old Bard's Town? Well, they made a new old bird sound. Right. But oh, they've yeah. also done um, some for private selection for like a California where, I mean, they, so they've, they've mm -hmm. bottled a lot more and produced a lot right. more different, but they're crafts, so they're smaller, except for the, I don't <laughs> <laughs> she's showing the pictures. I am. Yeah. I'm showing the pictures. Sorry, y'all. But it's so freaking cool. I mean, look at that. That's that's stunning. So how how far yeah. back is that date? Do you know like when that was built originally? Um, when this was originally well, it's not built. Not no, it's not the oldest. We've already learned about that one. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not the Otis, but What's the name uh, of it? When crow, it crow Forms. Crow Forms, there you go. It was established in 1936. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh wow. so at the exact yeah. same time so that they started that. Yeah, it's the, that's what I said. Um, I guess Thompson? that's... Thompson? Was it Thompson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That just looks absolutely... Yeah, I, didn't know. I knew that was when it was started, but I wasn't sure if that was uh, originally built like at the exact same time. But right, that's, that's cool. when they they had, or when they built the distillery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to keep on touching. Yeah, I'm sorry, sure to shut off. <laughs> so, I'm not going to try this tonight, but I, yeah, I will try it because... Well, you better try it soon because it looks like it's not going to last. It's, it's not going to last very long. She's going to do it. No. She has some sexy time with Sean. Do, do you mind if I try a little, a little swig? I do not mind. A swig Here in a few minutes, you can try Yeah, we'll give it a shot here. Yeah. We'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a chew. We'll give it a whirl. We'll give it some of that lemon and citrus chew. Give it a chew. Um, since this week is going to be Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. I just thought I would ask you guys, for me, on Thanksgiving, my favorite thing is to eat at my mom's. And there's only two things that she cooks every Thanksgiving. One is um, her dressing, homemade, which mm-hmm. I love, and sweet potato casserole. Mm-hmm. And I love them both, and um, I can't wait to... Get the family together and, you know, have a table full of food. You know, that's my favorite, one of my favorite holidays, just because you can eat and... Unbutton your pants. Get, I, no, no, no. You don't, no, no, no. You wear um, leggings or something. You something know, that's stretch. These pants ain't got no buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you can, you can get your bellies full, but, you know, my favorite is the dressing and sweet potato. So, I wanted to know what you guys, what are your favorite things for Thanksgiving? I swear, you know what I thought she was going to say? What? So, what are y'all thankful for? And I was going to be like, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Well, no, you no, could no, say what I'm you're totally thankful for. I'm thankful for. I'm thankful like, for, I'm for my mom. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, just friends and no. family. That's what I'm always thankful for yeah. in the oh, health yeah. of everybody. Yeah. Um, but what are your favorite foods? Dressing. <laughs> dressing. <laughs> dressing. No, that's like the best. And my Any mom, certain dressing? Like your mother makes yeah, the best dressing? Yeah, it's on my scratch. Yeah. And actually, I have watched her and I still... Okay. My sister and so she does the cornbread the day before... So my mom does like the bread, and then she does the cornbread, but she lets them set out for two days. Take the stale bread, yep. like she wanted it to be a little stale. Yes, and then mm-hmm. you put it in to get it wet. Yes, it's crazy. And then you add your broth, and then she adds like it's crazy because she adds like um, this all turkey potpourri, and uh, not potpourri. <laughs> What's it? I was like, what kind of dressing are you? Oh, you know, so are they uh, poultry? Poultry. 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 It's going to smell good. It smells so good. No, you got a little like... Yeah. 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 Y
We I get her. <laughs> we get her doing crap that she does. Well, we would holler across. She'll all be out there cooking. Mama, Linda, do this, and she's like, "Why?" And we always get her like on Snapchat, and I mean, we always distort her and stuff like that. Or we get her to do TikTok dances. We had her last time at Christmas. We were going. The girls were going. Ice in your veins, Mama. Ice in your veins. She's. I'm not doing it. <laughs> that means drugs. And we're like, No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> So she was like, I'm not doing it. Come on, come on, come on. And she was like, I'm not doing it. And I was like, oh my God, you look like you're you, you flipped somebody off. She was doing it over and over again. And then Lily said, Mama, you gotta go like this when you do it. Like this. And she goes, I'm not doing it. I said, oh, hell, she hissed. So, was she doing that while she was matter cooking? What, oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what we're doing or what we eat over because everything's always good. It's and more than entertainment. I do have to say, this is the last thing I'll say, and it'll be real quick. I used I always make the ham and my pop and my aunt always like don't forget to make the ham. Mom always she doesn't like when people give get other compliments because she wants to get all the glory. So she walks me in there and she says, I don't want to hurt your feelings. And I said, Okay. But nobody really likes your ham. And I'm like <laughs> Really? She, really? Yeah, hold on. I oh said, okay, and she goes, so we're just going to get that from the barbecue. I was like, oh, okay, you know. My pop heard her, and he's like, Belle, come here for a minute. I see how he's looking around, he goes, you bake that ham. You're, and he goes, we love it. He goes, she, he goes, I love your mother, and she's a wonderful cook. But she can't stand it when somebody else goes, oh my God, This is so delicious. You really got it, kid. You really think so? This is a beautiful thing. Thank you, Frank. So he goes, funny. I love That's her. That's hilarious. I love her, but you know how she is. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, well, I'll bring it. She goes, oh, I told you to <laughs> it from the barbecue. She said, nobody likes it. And my aunt and all them are going, this is so good. She goes, I wish you'd start talking about that damn hand because it's not that good. I was like, uh, uh, uh. so yeah, let me you know what. Mm-hmm. You what? One second. Can you, I think. I don't know what it is. I thought it was quick. the cell phone, but now mm-hmm. it's my refrigerator. Oh, is that what it is? At first, I thought it was the refrigerator. Oh, I did. At first, I thought it was the refrigerator, and I was like, "There's no way we're hearing." No, well, these microphones pick it up. It does. Okay. My refrigerator sometimes because I move the ice tray or the so she says the yeah. automatic ice thing. It's her ice maker. Yeah, mm-hmm. my ice maker. That's what they call it around here. Yeah, <laughs> shake it like an ice maker. Shake it like an ice maker. <laughs> Your your story just there though reminded me. I don't know if you guys are fans of Everybody Loves Raymond. Yes, oh, of course. Marie, okay. my mom knows every. She's watched every one of them like twenty times uh, or more. Uh, and yeah, she's Marie. Hmm. Except yeah. she's on her ear. Let's just hope her mama don't ever watch this show. Well, <laughs> she thinks Yellowstone Too and Grey's Anatomy is fun. Okay, so what about so what about everybody loves Raymond? Oh, that was it. It was just, oh, it, just, just the fact Marie. that she that reminds me of okay. Marie. Something okay. she would do. They, yeah. I, was, I don't remember what episode it was, but she went over to Deborah. I think she was trying. Deborah was trying to host a bachelorette party, mm-hmm. and she goes or a baby shower or something, and she's like. Sorry, dear. Like nobody. She bought. She brought a bunch of other stuff as backup <laughs> because you know, if if people right. get hungry, they might want to eat something. Because so. she doesn't know how to cook. Right. Okay, everybody. Who wants pizza bagel? All right, pizza bagel. And I made prosciutto e melone. All right, prosciutto e melone. Yeah, that's Linda. <laughs> yeah, that's Linda. You're never gonna make it just like hers. Like but Linda always loves my stuff. I take her. Well, it, it's just like my mom. I'm she, you. Even though it wears her out, she likes to cook all of it. She doesn't really want anybody to contribute. She likes. She has her own way. Mm-hmm. Dad That's puts exactly the, he puts the turkey and the ham in the smoker. Right. She does everything else, and we've offered to help, but I think they're Linda just way. makes me better. Well, she oh, she <laughs> likes everybody better than me, but, <laughs> but she likes like she loves my beans. She loves the food that I make, but. When it comes to holidays, no one, and it's because it's people, mama's. well, oh, it's but it's not only that because everybody, <clears throat> if everybody, she'll want to gripe about, I've been slaved, and I'm like, you're 97 year pound, or 97 pound, but get I thought you were going to say 97 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on that. She's really in trouble now. But no, she's just, she'll say, I'm just so worn out as slave. I'm like, you don't have to do all this. Well, when, you, when I die, you can do this at your own house. We're doing it at mine, and I'm doing it my way. And I'm like, okay, fine. So fine. she just, but she doesn't <laughs> want anybody else to get the glory. She wants to be like, you know, give it all to her. And then, and see, I don't think my mom really wants the glory. But my does. my yeah. mom is, I'm kind of like my mom. I like things a certain Ordering. way. It's your and, order. and orderly. Right. 
So I and my she's mom from. is total opposite of both of those. Because my mom's like she doesn't want to, imp- like she doesn't want to feel like she's putting you out by right. making you, you know. Where I'm like, mom, let me help, and she's like, oh, honey, it's fine. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. no, let me do something. You've been up since four or whatever, you know. And I'm like. And it I really is, don't want to do the dishes, does, but I will. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. does wear her out, and we do help out with my nieces, and we all help with the dishes and, um, you know, the cleanup afterwards. Right. But there again, my mom is still particular <laughs> <laughs> on how you do well, can everything. I, can I, I'll, I'll say this real quick, and that's only because my sister used to work with you all the, or at the same company. Yes. So I called her one night. I was like, what are you doing? She goes, because she can't cook. I'm here to tell you she came out. She said, I'm baking a ham. I'm like, oh, sweet baby Jesus. I said, I said, well, what are you doing? She goes, I, I think I know what I'm doing. I said, oh, okay, well, what would you put on it? And she goes, I make some pineapple juice and some brown sugar and I slapped it all on there. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, well, well, what temperature do you have on? You think I'm stupid. I have it on at 450. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh. So, I'm like, okay. And she goes, I, listen, I got to let you go. I, I need to check on it. I was like, you need to check on it. I'm going to call mom. And she's going to have her go check on it. So, I called mom. I said, mom. She said, I said, Diana's cooking. She said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get over there. She's going on 450. I said, she did make some stuff up. Mom gets over there. And she goes, she walks in. She goes, hey. She goes, did Belle call you? And she goes, ah, oh, just, you know, what are you doing? And she goes, what? Are you cooking something? And she goes, I'm baking a ham. And mom goes, well, I mean, did. Is it burning or something? She goes, no, it's pro- I just put a lot of stuff in there. It's probably just sloshing out onto the stove and blah, blah. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to check it. So she <laughs> um, just opens it up. Your mom trying to be nonchalant. Like, oh, no, I just was in the neighborhood. And your mom goes, Diana Lynn, what is that? And she goes, what? And mom's pulling out and she goes, this. And she goes, duh. It's the plastic to keep all the moisture in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mom goes, you're not supposed to. And she goes, what do you mean? And she goes, do you, she goes, are you really? Plastic, heat, melts, what, uh, chemicals, what, what? And she goes, do not tell Michelle. Whatever you do, don't let <laughs> goes, I can't hold it. Was it saran wrap? <laughs> no, it's just the plastic that it comes in. Oh, The gosh. actual Oh, plastic. she didn't even open no. it. <laughs> she stabbed. She stabbed so I don't like how so that she oh stabbed it so the so that defeated the purpose that defeated the purpose bless her heart and she goes whatever you do do not say what mom goes I can't hold that back I mean that was funny she goes four fifty <laughs> melted uh, Kentucky and a oh ham wrapper on top of it she goes she goes but I stabbed it all the, and she goes you said plastic it's what. Well, well, your heart it's not a microwavable potato. Here's the thing. She's smart but has... She is smart, smart but has, weird. Yeah, she's smart but has zero common sense. I have common sense and zero smartness. And I'm like, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather be me. Me too. I'd rather be me. I a master's degree. I'm like, no, that's how we go. Yeah, go ahead. Bless your heart. I like my common sense. So, Kevin, yeah. if you want a little sip of this, you can tell us what your favorite is. Yeah, let me more. tell you that before I take a sip because who knows what may happen. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, what was oh, I was gonna say I have heard. I think somebody that we know in our family, in Dawn's family, I believe, did something similar where they cooked the turkey and they didn't take the bag of all the stuff oh, out of inside. the inside. Yeah. That is more understandable. Right, right. Yeah. I would have done it the first time I ever cooked Absolutely. turkey. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Plastic. And then I have to tell you about her instant mashed potato episode. She made instant mashed potatoes. And this is oh, why yeah, they yeah. don't get along. Folks. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Instant mashed potatoes, all you got to do is follow directions. She right. sat on the table, it splashes onto the floor, onto the <laughs> table. I'm like, are the, <laughs> did you put, I think you need to is it all milk and water? I mean, I'm just curious. And she's like, shut the hell up. I'm like, <laughs> I'm back and off. I bet she didn't hand. shut up, though. I bet they were had it off. Yeah. Oh, eat, a, eat your plastic ham, Michelle, and, and shut up. And drink your mashed potatoes. And drink your mashed potatoes. Eat your mashed potatoes. Drink your mashed potatoes and you eat that. Plastic, yeah. My favorite dish um, of all time, not even just Thanksgiving, of all time, because we make it at Christmas too, is my grandma's macaroni and cheese. She makes it with like tons of Velveeta, mm-hmm. and I think there's some cheddar in there maybe too, and it's got like buttered mm-hmm. bread cr- crumbs oh, and, yes. and butter, mm-hmm. and all that's, and all that's over, over the top, and then you bake it. Bake it, it in the oven. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's making me hungry. 
Yeah. Right. I know. Yeah. And, 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 and like some Ritz cracker that. broccoli casserole yes. in my life right now. Yes. French onion some strips Christmas and some crack. green bean mm-hmm. casserole. Oh, yeah. I was all about the mm-hmm. casserole. I, I love green bean casserole, but I haven't made one. I mean, no, I've I, eaten plenty, but I've never made one. Well, you need you need, not, you not need the little French onion things. Yep. You need some of those little stringy, like split up green beans mm-hmm. and what? Cream yep. mushroom? Mm-hmm. That's like mm-hmm. it. I think yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> But I tell you, a dessert that's really popular in our family, and like we even fight over it. My brother's not a big dessert eater, but we fight over it. And it's like a chocolate mousse, mm. but it's made with brownies, oh. and you can make it real pretty, like a parfait, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, oh, that sounds good. We're going to have to start having a meal for each episode has, or something. I know. It has <laughs> pudding in it. It's just so good. Well, my husband tried it for the first time, like, I don't know, when Mom first started making it, and he was like, he was like, no, this is good. And he was like, this is Christmas crack. And she was, Christmas like, crack. And she was like, and I said, did you just call that Christmas crack? Because we didn't really have a name for it. So now and he goes, and he goes, I mean, this is better than crack. This is Christmas crack. And I was like, we all looked at him like, what? We How do you know? Yeah. And, like, what? and he was like, no, I'm saying this. Like, and we were like, so it's a big sure. joke now, but we all call it Christmas yeah. crack. That's the name uh. of it. Be- uh, Better my, than crack. My sister made something one year, and I, I need to get her to make it again. It was it, when she found the recipe. The recipe itself was called sweet potato crack. See, there and you it, go. And it has like some sort of, it's like a streusel type crumble or whatever, mm-hmm. all across the top mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. So good. Yum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, let me. Let yeah, me go ahead that. and try that. And <laughs> hey, Michelle, Buy do you pair. have your <laughs> your fun fact while he's Crap. trying this Ooh. wilderness? Yes, my fun fact, but I'm gonna have to put my glasses well, on. Well, get your Let me tell y'all. On. Let me tell y'all. It is. Uh, it is. Bourbon <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> gets its name from French royalty, sort of. <laughs> Despite its roots in American history, Bourbon's Bourbon. name is entirely French. The House of Bourbon was extremely powerful in Europe and placed several French kings from the 1500s to the 1800s. Oh, shoot, hold on one second. <laughs> uh-huh. We should clarify, though, that Bourbon Dynasty probably had little to do with Bourbon's creation. Instead, of cor- instead, according to the Bourbon expert, Michael Beach, it's more likely that two industrious entrepreneurs stole the name for marketing purposes. The Tarascon brothers traveled from Cognac, I always love that word, Cognac, Cognac, France, to Louisville, Kentucky in the 1800s. There may have been, um, there may have formed the first bourbon distillery, though there are other compl- uh, competing claims. So everybody's going to sit there and go, I did it, I did it, no you didn't. Of Regardless, we know that the Tuscan, um, Tarascon Brothers began to make and sell their whiskey down the river in New Orleans. We also know that they decided to age their whiskey in charred barrels to mimic French cognac flavors. Or cognac flavors. Legend has it that New Orleans residents loved the Tarascon Brothers product so much that they began to ask specifically for the special flavored whiskey sold on Bourbon Street. Thus, Bourbon was born. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there we go. A baby. Aww. That's cool, but it has baby. Those baby. Just don't drop it. So, what do you think? There we go. It's really good. I, I, I have to agree with uh, Lil Blake on this one. Lil Blake. That uh, I'd like this one better than Long Range. Sorry, Matthew. Mm-hmm. You're, still, you you're know, still a boy, Matt. Yeah, so <laughs> Long Range. You better watch it over there. I'll come over there. <laughs> Long Branch is still smooth, but yeah, that is. That's and I think, like I said, it's because the color is a little lighter. Uh huh. But it is a little bit smoother. Look, I'm always chewing it. You chewing it? It's just pretty. It's just pretty. it is pretty. It really is pretty. Mm-hmm. I, like I think that's things. my favorite one, y'all. Yeah, and you can take For a real. nose. And I still ain't tasting no damn yeah. no lemon. Well, and it's I don't know. <laughs> or any citrus. Maybe you need to try it. <laughs> actually, actually yeah, after actually. we let it air a little bit, you can smell yeah, it. If you smell oh, it, yeah. smell yeah. it straight out of the bottle. But if yeah. you, first of all, if you go straight like this and smell, it sounds it's like all the alcohol just kind of comes up to this. Right, right. But as soon as you yeah, let it breathe for a little bit, mm-hmm. it's, it's like, oh yeah, pine salt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. 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 I'm kid
Did you know that whenever Kevin isn't producing Bourbon Babes and BS, he also puts out music? Go check it out now on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Links in the description. Everybody's got receipts, cause we only want to see the proof. Now we're just reminiscing, thinking about the days carefree. I dare you, you dare me. On the break, we were talking about <laughs> Christmas lights. Uh, they made, I saw something that was like, they're not Christmas lights, they're like year-round lights. Yes, yes! Oh, oh that was so oh cool, I knew God. you would. Oh and you God. can change them to Halloween yes. colors. Or, oh, my husband will flip them. Use them for spring, spring cookout nights and whatever. Yes, and change them to everything. If, if about those lights, those never be go by my personalities. Like, oh, <laughs> Della, that, that would be good. That came out. Yeah. Oh, it would be like a warning for people coming. Oh, that's what I was going to say. That's like a, that's a brilliant yeah. idea. Well, I mean, my, 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 my husband doesn't bad. know it yet, but we're getting that. Oh, oh not, not this year. She needs them. But oh, next year. Oh. There you go. She them. needs them. Oh, yeah. You get them for the right reason. We need them for her, for us. I'm going to be wearing them daily. They're going to be around my she, When she's Stella, <laughs> when she's Ramona, when Ramona comes out, they all come out to play and it's oh, a good time. time or not. Yes. I, just took another, mm-hmm. sorry, I just took another sip of this mm-hmm. without trying to nose or right. do anything and I actually caught a little like a uh, orangey kind of a flavor. Wow. Just, on that, just on that one little swig It there. was the third swig. The yeah. third the swig third is what did it. Kevin, what's your topic while I smell this bourbon? <laughs> my topic while you smell the bourbon is... No. So, what is my topic? Oh yeah, listen to this BS. Um, there's a an, another one, another great one called the bathroom challenge. Oh, not wow. not as disgusting that. as you think it is. It's actually more criminal. <laughs> so what? Don't yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Twist. Uh, so yeah, I guess kids, and I don't know really what age range. I didn't get the chance to do enough research on this, but. Are going and stealing things out of bathrooms. Oh, I see that in the high schools here. Yeah, so mm-hmm. taking bathroom stall doors, mm-hmm. taking toilet mm-hmm. seats, taking How do you hand, sneak in taking door hand dryers. <laughs> Seriously, it says, it says on the it says on the <laughs> little article, seemingly just for the thrill of it. <laughs> How many hell do you sneak in bathroom I mean, stall doors? Well, listen. you gotta have you gotta have a crew. True story. True story. True story. <laughs> oh, my <shoot>. niece, my <laughs> own <laughs> bathroom eleven. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. <laughs> my oldest niece, she is a school teacher. Mm-hmm. She teaches Spanish at a local school. At my daughter's school. High school. school. Mm-hmm. At, and it was not your daughter that I think. I don't think it was your daughter. Actually, I think she was chased. <laughs> she's chased a few kids. But she's one of these, like, she don't care. Like, she don't care. They are not doing what they're supposed to. That is not obedient. That is horrible. Like, if you had a parent, they need to whoop your butt. Right. Kind of girl. You know, her husband was special forces in the military. Like, look right. at it. So, what, know, what she believes she, in the spine. What she find? <laughs> no, some chick, like, goes and steals the tampon dispenser. <laughs> yeah. Thing. And my niece hears about it. You know what she did? Chased her down the hall. She sure did. She wasn't scared. She was like, oh, she is not getting away with this. It, she was livid. Y'all. I mean, there's Come back here with those women. Yeah, I know, right? But, like, literally, <laughs> she said they have stolen everything. She said it's so pathetic. Um, Sean yeah. said that same thing. He said that they took... Um, yeah, and the, then Sean the, don't have to the, go and... They have to, they have to yeah. replace right. it. I think the knobs... Yes. Off the sink. Mm-hmm. I think something with the urinal so too. They, they took too much time on their hands. Or well, something. It said in the article one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> Michelle's leaking. Yeah, I'm like going. Okay, first, first of all, disgusting. Yeah, the hell? yeah, yeah. I'm like, right. okay, right. Yeah, right. Then I'm like, okay. Did you wash your hands? I didn't see you wash. I didn't yeah. hear the damn water. Get out of there, wash yes. your hands. And then people walking out the door or or touching up after they pooped or whatever, and then. <laughs> No, but even that, 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 no, not even that, but think no, about no. what that girl saw. <gasps> the tampon. Well, oh, oh, because oh. you know kids, they don't sanitize very well. I mean, I'm hopefully she stole the, the tampon. new ones. I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping it's the dispenser. new ones. No, the dispenser. The dispenser. So, you know, they have the well, dogs okay. and stuff, like whatever. No, there's dispensers. No, there's dispensers. Where, yeah, dispensers when it comes out. I know. No, I know, Maybe but still. One. Now, my point saying is. I thought you were talking about that. She didn't steal the tampons, y'all. She stole 
the dispenser, like oh. the whole thing, took right, her off the right. wall. Be, well, there was she ten doors. doors. She's oh. ten. Well, I don't think she That's plans worse. to put them back. No, no, no. no she, <laughs> I don't think she's coming no. back at the scene of that. No. If I'm going to take something <clears throat> from somewhere, which I was sure not, it's going to be It's going to be. Well, first I don't know. No, I don't know. But it would be something good. Yeah. Like a gold bar. I mean, if they had the gold bars at the high school, we're, we're all going to Why would you steal anything from school? Right. I know. Because I'm taking this book, this fucking thing, out of the schools a long time ago. But when it all started, it all started. What'd you say? I'm taking this book. Oh. No, she said she was talking about her selling tampons. She said, I don't know why you would steal anything from school. Period. I said, was that period. They don't. They don't. That is just crazy. Jeez, not, no, so you can't still So post. there was a principal, I don't remember what state they were from, but literally had to like send out a, a letter or an email to all the school parents letting them know that the students couldn't use the bathroom at the school for the time being because no, all the doors had been stolen off of all the stalls. That is <laughs> like, that was great to say. But after the first one, like you imagine taking the tampon dispensary and going into your child's bathroom and going <laughs> It's just mounted on the wall. What the hell is that? I'm sure like, like, you have a quarter. Right. I'm like, yeah, it's like back in the day. You have a quarter. Back in the day, I thought it was so scandalous if you walked into somebody's bedroom or, you know, and they had a street sign. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, they yeah. used to do that. Or they would have like a license plate hanging there. And I'm like, now they're going to have tampon dispensers. Yeah, yeah now they have tampon tampons dispensers. Ooh, is yeah. that Playtex? <laughs> You're so and, a roll of quarters. Quarters. <laughs> and a roll of quarters. And a roll of quarters. And a roll of quarters. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be. It could be. And the man. And uh, do they have condom machines? No, oh, they're not they cool. send those out. There you <laughs> go. I just put another <laughs> idea in some kid's mind. There you go. Condom but machines. But seriously, y'all think yeah, this all started next. when yeah. they took the spankings out of schools? I'm telling you. That was the moment they started stealing the doors. That's right. God, remember Miss Hoagland? But oh I know God. there was a thing it's called respect. respect. You know, when so I guarantee it. it. Back in the day, you did have respect. Are you kidding me? Nope. Audio still. Start recording now. We'll That's have audio still. Right. But, they, but they won't hear it. They're here. I mean, right. How? Gosh, damn. <laughs> I just ran out of the over and I was like, That's holy shit. That is right. Well, let's see. Surprise. Take. <laughs> oh my God. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
the pants off of us <laughs> by not piercing record. That's okay. It was the third That's sip okay. that did it. It's the third sip. Yeah. When he realized it's the third Ooh. sip. <laughs> it's any sip No, yet. it's this. And that's a wrap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need to work, I need to work on that little. Yeah. Ready? One, One two, two, three. There we go. Makes me think of Florida Gators. Yeah, right. Of all the, oh, my gosh. That is freaking hilarious. Well, that will be the clip that goes at the end of this episode, is me being an idiot. <laughs> no, no idiot. the best was Amber went, oh. We got, we got we got two minutes and thirty six seconds recording, guys. I saw. Let me let me sit down. You look at that. Oh, thank you. But it's. Let's all do it together. No, don't do it together. That'd be terrible. Two. Don't. We'll do one. Ready? We do one, two, three. There we go. Now we do. Oh. No, no, no. You do. No, no, you do you. You do you. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. You don't need us.